If you break your bones, you know that you will need a fixation for them to grow together. For complicated fractures, a cast isn't enough and screws are implanted to keep the bones in place. But often these screws can't remain in the body forever and patients need to undergo a second surgery after the bone has healed. With magnesium-based implants, this second surgery could soon be a thing of the past. The magnesium-based screw dissolves over time. It stabilizes the bone during the healing process, but fully dissolves afterwards. But there's still one big problem to solve. Since the material characteristics of those new implants are similar to those of bones themselves, common imaging techniques can't be used to visualize the healing process in regular checkups. The MagSafe project aims to change the situation. Here, at the outstation of the Helmholtz Centrum in Hamburg, as well as in seven other research institutes and four partner companies all over Europe, 15 PhD students are researching new ways to enable the imaging of the implant while ensuring patient safety. Each partner institute has leading expertise in different imaging methodologies. From microscopy imaging of the implant material to imaging of the bone and soft tissues in the body, Hi, I'm Hanna, I'm a material scientist from Poland. And I'm Kamila, a physicist from Russia. We are PhD students in MGSAFE project. We want to invite you for a lab tour. Let's go! Working at the interface between medicine and physics always fascinated Kamila. Here, at the microtomography beam line at Petra 3, she uses the synchrotron to look into the microstructure of materials. Petra 3 is a storage ring in which particles are kept on a circular trajectory after acceleration using a linear accelerator. Within Petra 3, the particles are then sent through magnetic fields to generate X-rays. These X-rays are a million times more brilliant than the X-rays in a doctor's practice and can therefore be used for high-resolution computed tomography. Using this technology, Images of the implant are created that show features smaller than a tenth of a human hair. This is a magnesium sample. After Hannah has placed it in the Nanotom, a laboratory machine for computed tomography, and positions the sample inside, Camila switches on the X-rays and we will see an image of the sample on the computer screen. With these scans, Hannah calculates the rate at which the magnesium degrades and can compare different magnesium alloys. To analyze the raw data, Camila and Hannah are now labeling the scans they've made. They label which parts of the scans belong to the background, the bone, the residual screw and to the degradation layer. After that, they can calculate the loss of implant material and the bone growth. The PhD students of the MagSafe project work closely together and visit the different partner institutes on secondments to learn additional skills that can be useful for their projects. Like Jonathan from Sintelix, and Marva from Scanco, who are currently guests at the Helmholtz Centrum. You can see them to the right of Hannah. Together, the 15 young researchers of MagSafe push imaging techniques to their limits. They make new friends and learn from highly experienced researchers all over Europe. The students investigate the material structure and degradation and advance imaging methods for the safe application of magnesium-based implants in the clinic. It is through their collaboration that new ideas will develop so that they can ultimately help to make future treatments of bone fractures significantly more comfortable. Step by step, they get closer to their goal. To promote patient safety, 